Hey guys, we have here our JBL Tune 510 Bluetooth headphones and in case the battery of your headphones doesn't last very long anymore or if your headphones don't turn on at all, then most likely the battery has gone bad and should be replaced. So this is what we're going to show you in this video. And with this headphones model, the process is really easy and the only tool we need is a small Phillips screwdriver. Now the battery is located inside of the left ear cup, so that's the one that we want to take apart. And the first thing we have to do is remove the ear pad. And we do that by putting one finger into the inside of the ear pad and then pushing towards the outside really carefully. And then we can eventually just slide off the ear pad. And at this point now we need our screwdriver because we have here three small Phillips screws, which we are going to remove really quick. Once we have done that, we can now remove the entire cover here. So that includes the transducer. So we have to detach this now really, really careful because there's a wire going from the ear cup to this plate. And we don't want to accidentally tear that off because that will mean a lot more work for us. So see this here really carefully. I'm going to detach this. And at this point, we can already see here the battery inside of the ear cup. So it turned out to be really easily accessible. Now let me show you here the model number of the battery that we need. I'm also going to place a link to this battery in the comment section below. Lucky for us, the battery can be really easily be removed by detaching here this connector from the PCB. All you have to do is make sure that you hold down on the port that the battery is connected to or plugged into so we don't accidentally rip it off while we detach here the battery. So now we can already remove the battery completely. It is simply glued into position with like a piece of uh, double-sided tape on the back side here. So I'm going to pry the battery off. And when we want to install the new battery, we make sure that there's no wires here in the way. And we're just going to stick it right back into the original place. And then don't forget, of course, here to plug in the battery into the board. The connector is coded, so you can't really plug it in in the wrong direction. Just make sure here you can see here the red is right now facing the uh, battery itself. The black is on the outside. And then I'm going to make sure that the wires are out of the way when we uh, close the ear cup back up so that they don't get pinched. And then at this point we can already close the ear cup up. Make sure that everything is lined up correctly and there's even here the black wire is not going to be in the way and getting pinched. We're going to press down the uh, cover here so that there's still just a small gap left. That's where the uh, ear pad is going to slide into in a minute. And of course now we're just going to uh, close up those three screws. Uh, make sure not to over tighten them. Remember these are metal screws going into a plastic thread. So we don't want to ruin the plastic. And then now the last step to reattach the ear pad. That's really easy with the help of this little gap here that you see. You're just going to slide in the uh, lip here from the ear pad. Just slide it over that gap. And once you've figured it out, then you're going to rotate the ear pad once by uh, 360 degrees. So one complete turn and it's going to be right on here. Just make sure that you line up the L again. And we're already done. Yeah, okay. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.